Nikki, a long time ago in my youth when I was a portfolio manager, there was a young company called Arm that we got very excited about then. Um, for viewers that don't know, they don't actually make the chips, but they design, design them and uh, have licenses and take royalty income. Um, and it just keeps going uh, from strength to strength over a decade later, Q3 results today and strong as ever it looks. Yep, absolutely. Excellent results, better than the market expected, and the market wasn't exactly holding back. Um, you've got revenue growth of, of up by a fifth. Um, and not really too, too many sort of blots on the landscape. It's, it's all really pretty good. All of this, of course, is helped by the move to smartphones, to, to apps and all the rest of it, tablets. Um, but yes, it's, it's thoroughly good from that perspective. And the gag is, I mean, they pretty much own the mobile space, don't they? And big That's companies right. like Intel are desperately trying to catch up, but ARM is still a long way ahead. Yes, exactly. It's exactly that. And, and the trajectory of growth, I mean, it was very strong. And just, just how strong is it? I mean, is it moderating at the margin? Yes. Um, the earnings per share, I mean, most companies would absolutely love to be in this position. But I mean, there was earnings per share growth of, you know, all over 30% um, into uh, 2011, um, higher than that in the past. And it's coming down to, for the next couple of years, on consensus forecasts in the range of, range of 15 to 20%. Um, so it's slowing, but still quite enviable. And on the margin side, how, how profitability? Um, flat uh, in, in terms of operating margin mm -hmm. between Q3 this year and Q3 last year, gross margin. And as ever with these um, amazing stories, there tends to be uh, one catch with anything desirable on Earth. Um, it's very expensive, right? Very. Um, I mean, you've got uh, forward multiples that are over 30 times. Um, and I mean, that really is pretty high, even for the tech sector. Um, enterprise value to sales 12 times. Um, so you're paying absolutely top dollar for it. And, um, and what are, say, the top three risks if I was a holder of this stock at 37 times? I mean, what, what are the, the three things to worry about? Well, one is competitors. Intel, as you rightly say, is very keen to have a, a piece of this space. Um, so that's one. Um, I suppose another one is is pricing, whether you can hold the royalty rates. Um, so, so those are, and the, the other one would be the, the sort of general market forecasts and where where consumers go with these types of gadgets. Uh, I mean, there's no reason to think that it isn't all uh, very plain sailing, but in my experience, if things can go wrong, they, they will. I mean, the work life is full of uncertainties. So, so those would be the three that I would, would suggest. Um, and you've just no margin for error in that sort of price. Yeah, no, it's an extremely high valuation, isn't it? And I guess the bull case is that, you know, everything becomes, you know, ends up with a chip in it of some description. Mm. But like, as we see all the time, that should attract new entrants. Um, you can't have those kind of uh, returns forever. Exactly. All right. Well, that's a very, very high margin, but a very, very uh, interesting and exciting stock. So thank you very much for that, Nikki.